Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. We are a little bit behind. I apologize. As you guys know, we have a crazy ass schedule. So here we are. <laughs> Before we get into your reading cancer, I do want to let you guys know for those of you guys that shop on our online store, you're going to be able to find a lot of the restock items that have been sold out for a bit. As you guys know, many of our soaps uh, quickly sell out very quickly. We are now back in stock with the Lilith soaps, the Florida soaps, the Handsome Devil soaps, uh, the road openers, etc. You can find all of that on our online store as well as our candles. We have specific candles that are prepared. They are uh, ritualized in a ceremonial rite to empower and strengthen. It comes prepared with herbs and everything. All you have to do is basically just light these candles and you're good to go. Uh, as well as our oils are very, um, very, uh, you know, uh, one of the best oils that we sell out, like I said, very quickly, the binding oils, the come to me oils, the protection oils, you'll be able to find all of that on there on our online store. You can find the link in the description box below, as well as at the end of every video. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading. Let's see. What we can expect for this month of March. Spirits, what are the messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to the month of March 2022? What can they expect? What changes are unfolding for them? Please give us the communication with the element of air, as well as give us finances and career in... Um, what can they expect for finances and career? The element of earth. Give us the challenge. The element of fire. What is it that they need to overcome for this month? As well as relationships or connections in regards to the element of water as well as spirit. What is the general energy here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Also, my lovelies, I want to let you guys know, as always... If you follow any of my social medias, go ahead and hit the description box below to be able to uh, see all of our online, um, all of our online uh, social medias. Those are the original ones. We have tons of fakes out there. I've been getting substantial messages from you guys, uh, you know, following or getting messages that apparently are from me, but they're not. They're fake accounts. So, yeah, just double check. Make sure you're following the right person. And if you do come across any of these weirdos, definitely report those accounts. All right, let's get into it. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go. We're starting off with the general energy here. This is the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is all to do with finances, with career. This is about stability. This is about building off of experiences or using um, experiences as stepping stones. This can also represent uh, being uh, content or being in a peace or state of being that is feeling fulfilled, being uh, blessed or feeling blessed, being thankful. For some of you guys, this can also represent uh, learning to be at peace with finding yourself or being single especially those of you guys that are currently in a relationship and are in a unfulfilling relationship. Um, Nine of Pentacles often indicates um, being okay or finding your way back to yourself and finding who you are. A lot of the times when we put effort and a lot of energy into a relationship or connection, Oftentimes, we kind of lose ourselves in that relationship because they become our priority. Nine of Pentacles is here to remind you that even if being in a relationship, that is only a part of your life. It's not your whole life. And it is about finding the balance in every single aspect of your life so you don't, uh, so you don't uh, lose yourself in this relationship or in any past relationships, um, for those of you guys that are single, it's about uh, self-care. It's about learning to put yourself and your needs and your priorities um, first. And when we're dealing with someone, it's about them bringing into your life um, more prosperity or more balance or more peace of mind. 
if you don't have that and you often find yourself uh, struggling in relationships, it's time you start asking those questions. Why is it that you're holding on? And if you are holding on, um, why is it that you refuse to value yourself? Why is it that you find yourself often either um, sacrificing certain aspects about yourself to make the partner content in a relationship? It takes two people to make it work. For others of you, are you feeling lonely? Are you feeling like even being in a relationship, are they emotionally supporting you? Because if they're not, it can become, um, it, it could become a very heavy burden here. All right, so when we talk about communication, we have the five of cups. So the nine of pentacles as a general energy with the five of cups, for some of you guys, there could have been some type of separation, some type of distancing or some type of breakup for some of you guys. And um, communication is not going to be uh, what you're hoping or what you're wanting for the month of March. Um, if you're holding on to someone from the past and you're wanting to either rekindle or hoping that there will be some type of reconciliation, it may be a process before that happens. So again, I urge you to find yourself, to put energy and keep yourself busy in doing the things that motivate you, doing the things that you're passionate about or that you were passionate about at some point. Now, in regards to your finances and career, we have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is very quick paced, very quick movement for some of you guys, um, especially those of you guys that are dealing with some type of uh, setback in regards to relationships. Eight of Wands encourages you to keep yourself busy. This is what's going to help you and assist you in not really delving deep into the, you know, depths of sorrow and pain and hurt. A lot of the times, you know, when people are sad, they have a tendency of locking themselves in the room and just overthinking and overanalyzing. And that's very counterproductive because what you're doing is you're setting up, um, obstacles. You're setting up resistance in what is unfolding. So again, urge you to keep yourself busy. Now, when we're talking about the challenge here for the month of March, Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is all about being methodical. It's about being in your head, not allowing your heart to take over, not allowing that decisions that you make, whether it's about career, whether it's about your life, whether it's about your home life, it's, it's not allowing your heart to blind you from opportunities that may come up uh, with the eight of wands. Um, a lot of changes are coming in and the queen of swords is about being methodical. It's about uh, really internalizing and thinking what it is that you want and how you want to proceed, how you want to move forward, but not allowing yourself to act in a way of uh, allowing your emotions to take over. It's about being smart right now. It's about not being emotional. So again, uh, putting yourself in energy towards things that motivate you, towards things that you're passionate about is going to help you um, also balance that energy to not become overwhelmed or not uh, fall into helplessness or feeling like you're not um, being able to overcome these obstacles when we're talking about partnerships and relationships. Queen of Swords is a very powerful energy because uh, this is a queen that executes. This is a queen that makes things happen. Uh, doesn't allow their doesn't allow the setbacks to hold them back. It's about uh, smashing those goals and and let the the setbacks fuel and ignite the passion within you to reconnect with what it is that you're trying to um, achieve, what you're trying to make happen, what you're trying to manifest. So again, it's about being. Uh, making decisions with your mind, with your head, uh, not with your heart or not allowing even to react in an emotional way. And finally, here with the uh, relationships and partnerships, the energy of water, we have the three of pentacles. So the three of pentacles is working together or revisiting, having that 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 conversation about even if it's an uncomfortable conversation. It's about let's talk about what we want, where we're at, and how we move forward. Are we on the same page? If we're not, you know, is it something that 
uh, could potentially just be a waste of our times. It's about uh, coming together and realizing if we want the same common goals, um, it, it can also represent being supported or being guided by your friends at this present time. So I hope you guys uh, get some type of insight for this month. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.